Can I help you? Uh, lady, uh, what exactly are you doing? I'm organizing the fridge. This is my nine to five, actually. This is, uh, this is, <laughs> this has got to be single-handedly the greatest thing I've ever seen. Excuse me, I'm working here. What's up, guys? Lord Beardo here bringing you up brand new Clash Royale video. We are going to open up a bunch of chests right quick and check out what's inside the shop. None other than the legendary chest. I used to be so excited about the legendary chest when we didn't have any legendary cards or when we were first getting our new legendaries. And now I'm just like, yo, Supercell is stealing all of my gems. They're stealing all of my money. They want me to pay to play and to be able to push up high and get into higher leagues and oh beardos i feel your pain man it is a tough world out there someone in my clan slap your cheeks today was like dude i can't push any higher in, in my ladder push because i don't have higher cards and every time i go into a match i'm playing higher people and i feel your pain man i don't think i've played somebody with my same cards in a really really long time every time i go in it's level 11 common, sometimes level 12 royal giants. I'm still at level 9 and 10 commons for the most part. And, you know, we get we get good cards here. We're, 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 we're doing our best. We're pushing as hard as we can. We're learning the classic challenges. We might have to bring some something on here to teach the beard a little bit more so we can get into our grand challenges because we're running out of our gems, man. And when we run out of those gems, is that? There's not much we can do about it. There's, there's no there's no more we can do, Supercell. We're not dumping money into this game. It's just one of those things that are just so difficult to ask for money at every turn. Check it out. Another miner. We only need three more, and we can get a level three miner. We're going to have to save up a bunch of gold. We're working on level threes on a couple of our legendaries. For the most part, most of them are level twos, which is pretty exciting. I actually didn't even realize that we had level twos on a lot of those. We did so much complaining about not having legendaries, but I don't know. We're just we're just gonna get into some fun matches today. Nothing overboard, nothing crazy. Just some all around really cool counter moves that we pulled and some spots that I felt like I made some really bad decisions in these in this challenge that I was in, and I had to work myself out of them. So, you know, when you're using the Goblin Barrel, a lot of times you are baiting cards, you're trying to throw them out of their rotation. People mainly get stuck in a rhythm where they know exactly what they need to do to beat you. So if you throw them out of that rhythm, that's your best strategy when it comes to winning and it gets to be a little bit hard uh these loon rage decks are abundant i'm seeing them all the time and you can't let them stack up their cards see right there you watched him try to make a decision on what card he wanted to play and then we put the hog and it changed all his decision making up and we were able to then play our inferno tower and he wastes the rage spell so if you watch closely on how you deploy your hog and how you deploy your goblin barrel especially once you know what they have you can begin to throw them off you can trick them you can make them think that this is what they need to play defense on switch lanes up so we got the 1580 on the left hand side we got the one spear down he is still trying to get his loon great play but look at the rocket in the pocket bo ya down so the left hand side <clears throat> he does connect with the big bomb from the balloon but now you know he's a little tapped out on defense here comes his ah, how much fun is it when you get to zap the entire skarmy just like that we got it down to 146 but look at we play a bad play here and we get our princess taken out by those arrows i was hoping to save her on the right hand side but we pull that left hand tower down now check it he has so much coming down the lane here we're gonna play a little bit he's gonna rage up his minions and we're able to continue our defense but he does 
bait me in to a play right there, but he continues to waste his own elixir. He did not have to play that elixir on that Skarmy, and I think that ultimately put him very behind because at this moment, we just kind of forfeit the left-hand tower. We could have played on it, but we just continue to push the right-hand side. I didn't, I, I don't know. I, I, sometimes I like to play more aggressively and not do that defense and not just try to chip away. And I always try to go for that two-time tower, especially when I'm getting my crown challenge for the day, just because it's so much more fun to me in this game to press offensively than it is to play some defense. I mean, everybody's got their own uh, their own vice in life, you know, especially in this game. You like playing a certain card, you like playing a certain style, and, you know, I'll forfeit towers to be able to keep a good match going or to be able to get extra crowns. So here he comes, good defense. We're continuing to make this guy struggle. We just need one more attack on the right hand tower look at this though he's got us down all the way to 790 he's spamming he's trying to get some extra hit points off by using the raid spell we're at 114 and we're just gonna gg him up with our rocket once it falls into rotation still our strongest deck here still the deck that i use to push classic challenges Still the most powerful deck the Beardo got. And the cool thing about it is we're actually about to get our level 8 hog in the next two days. So maybe that'll help us be able to push up a little bit higher, get us a little bit further along in that hog now. Maybe we could maybe we could just 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 tickle the bottom of Legendary League and squeak our way in there once we get some other cards going. So look at this. We got a card shuffler going. He's not sure what to play. This match was a bunch of fun. I'm still seeing so many elite barbarians. I think the game has got a pretty decent balance right now with the cards. Um, I mean, I do think that Goblin Barrel is a little overused. I mean, I, how can I even say that though? Because I use it so much. I mean, I, if I can use it good, trust me, it's a good card to use. So, you know, Electric Wizard, same thing. Very, very powerful. You're seeing a lot of Goblin Gangs, Electric Wizards, uh, Barb Elite Barb still. Skarmy has always been powerful. I think the balance in the game is pretty good. I just think we need another, a, a, a better matchmaking system. And I know that's like, is a weird thing to ask for, but there's got to be a way of keeping people with similar card ranks together. I don't know. I mean, I get it if you're young, if you're new, but not even that, because if you're young, how can you get cards with such high level rank? I mean, maybe like a social playlist versus a ranked playlist. Um, you know, the classic challenge, the challenges are what they are. That's, that's how people are grinding through and getting all their cards. They just needs, they need to think of something. Supercell, you can think of something different. Give us 2v2s on the regular. Don't just let it be a crown challenge thing or a chess challenge every two weeks. We need 2v2s on the regular. We got to bring more team aspect into the game, giving me a reason to grind through with the clan, getting more people involved, maybe changing up a couple different things. I don't know. I, I, I mean, they're not going to do much. Check out the right hand tower it gets pulled down so quickly by those barbs. Perfect log. Now we're in the hole. We got a 12 on the left hand side. A zap will take care of it. We got 1850 on the right hand side to take down from them. And we're just trying to figure out his rotation. Princess. When you can stack up a bunch of princesses with this deck, that's when it becomes the most fun because you're raining down terror all across the entire board and you're getting added hit points off of all their attacking troops. Um, he plays a pretty good log there. One of the things I never tried to do when I played this game was stack up my elixir and let it just continue to... When you see at the bottom and it's all just just pulsing and you're just like, man, I need to play something right now. You start to get all itchy. Like, I gotta play a card. I'm wasting my time. But sometimes it's good to see what the person is going to do. He fireballs our goblin barrel. So we got a little bit of 
uh, you know, momentum moving into this last push here. His log takes out basically everything that we have to offer. One hog smash. Our princesses are all over the place. Here comes a quick goblin gang met by his electric wizard. Goblin barrel. Couple hit points off. The princesses. This is what I was talking about. Raining terror stacking up. Here comes his skeletons to take care of it. Look at this desperation inferno tower I had to throw down at the last second and it's gonna be a GG rocket to the tower for the W no better way to win than a rocket to the tower let me know what your favorite way to win is guys do you like the balloon hitting do you like the battle ram do you like the rocket the money ball you tell me what is the most satisfying way that you guys lock up those W's and uh, mine particularly happens to be the rocket when I can shoot a rocket through the sky and crush them and just drop that GG as it smashes the tower that's what I do it for baby Beardos peace